first time seeing the course was way back as a pupil here at Dornhill Academy. And then I went away to train as a PE teacher, come back and found us so involved in sport and kids that I didn't take up golf until I finished playing football and rugby in the early 40s. But it's always been a magnificent place to see and walk with the children. I think it's got to be the new seventh. It's, it's just magnificent. Infinity, it's uh, scenic. It's challenging. I played it with the first time with the wind behind me on Saturday, right through the green at the back, feeling fair chuffed. Managed to nick it up and sink two putts, and I felt like it was a birdie. This story has got to be the tenth. Two trees which are unusual in the Lynx course, dog leg, narrow entrance into it, and an undulating green which is just typical of all our greens in Dornoch. Magnificent. I think for me it's just been out on the golf course, um, playing, watching, and you come back in, you sit in the clubhouse, folk come up and say hello. It could be a billionaire from Chicago, it could be somebody who's just up on furlough, it could be somebody who had a very special anniversary, been here ten years ago and just loving to come back, but just been all equals, all equals. Definitely for me, my wife pushed me out in the golf course when I took a career break and uh, said to my mate John, oh, well, you'll be down on your Wednesday morning. My first introduction to Jerry's, hardly ever missed a Wednesday morning. The old boys who come back from strokes, heart attacks, etc. They all plug around for three or four holes, 13, walk in. The weather doesn't matter to these guys. It's the social aspect, the friendliness. Love it. For me, it's the first visit that Tom Watson had to Royal Dornoch. I took my 10-year-old son down to watch some of the holes and we just got glued. It built up quite a crowd. And uh, although we had no social media in those days, word came round because I just live on the edge of the golf course that he was going back out in the afternoon. Well... Well, I said, what are you guys going out there for? Spoken wet, blowing a hoolie, caught them at the 15th. Crack between Tom and Sandy Tatum was just brilliant. And Sandy Tatum was up and him. No way was Tom going to give in. Come up to 16, he levels it. We followed them in 17, 18. They were soaking wet. Minister San, we Alistair, one of my footballers, goes up to Tom and says, Mr Watson, can you tell us how to show us how to get them all to spin backwards? He goes across onto the putting green just where we're standing here and he shows the young boys what to do. What a magnificent example of sport, golf and just general loving life is Tom Watson.